Hello everyone, it's Paula here. I am here with um, three Christmas journals and oh, I'm gonna cut these off. And I um, made them all at the same time, trying to use up some of my Christmas cardstock and um, just some odds and ends of everyone's kits that I've been using. <laughs> So this is what I came up with. Um, I'll try to flip through them really fast like because I don't want to make this forever video. But they're just made out of cardstock covers and a graphic 45 image on the front of every one. And I just put this little flower here and added a little um, sentiment on the top. Put rosettes on the spines. and. Yeah, this one is almost one of my favorites because I like the white with the cream. <laughs> and I put a ribbon closure on all three of them. This one has the gold. I think two have gold and one has um, silver. And I just put some little um, burlap behind each of the sentiments. And inside we have um, a sewn pocket on the front and I sewed this paper I think is graphic 45 as well and this is leftover from my porch prints and a page out of the really old vintage um, music Christmas music book I did some stamping some tabs some old pages a page out of a um can't remember what book this was out of, but it's a um, chocolate fudge recipe on here. Coffee dyed doily, some scraps, another piece of cardstock, and I just punched my a doily side there and sewed it on. And this is some cardstock I had in my stash. Some old paper. I think I actually it's not old actually. I think I got that at Tuesday mornings. Trina did, and some more stamping. Another page out of that really old Christmas catalog, which I'll show you one more time because it's almost gone and it's so cute. I think Miss Vonnie sent me this quite a while ago. I love that, but it's almost gone, so I just had to show it one more time. <laughs> Some more cardstock out of my stash, I'm trying to use that because I have quite a bit of it and I want to. I haven't made Christmas journals in a while, so. And I used some Tsunami Rose Pink Christmas in here, and this is my porch prints. And I will link both of them below. Oopsie, had that stuck there. And I had a piece of this vellum type. I guess you call that vellum, I don't know. But I made pockets out of it. And here are two more tags. And this is the yummy Christmas kit from My Porch Prints, and I think the name of the Tsunami Rose one is Pink Christmas, if, I, if I'm correct. I'm not sure, but I will link her below. This is another piece of cardstock, and we have these two tags inside. This is from Tsunami Rose. I love all her images in that kit. And in the back we have a sewn Christmas tag and these are bags I got from um, the Dollar Tree and I just think they're so cute so they're like they come in a little bag like this and I just think they were so cute so I put them in my journals and over here we have a fabric pocket and I made each journal a nice hefty little journaling tag booklet and stuck that in there we have a book page and this each of them have a envelope which I didn't put anything in but you can put stuff store stuff in there in a little pop sock dot and another little pocket that's tsunami rose and a little tag sewn tag Here's a little pocket. Aren't those cute? Oh my goodness, I love those. Here is a little doily and two little mailing 
pieces of ephemera. Did some more stamping. Edith Holden. And these are some doilies that I also got at the dollar store, which I love. And I just tucked the big tag in there. And this little tag right here. Some cardstock. And I made a little pocket here with these two pieces of ephemera. Put a little um, sticker on there. I sewed on this little piece, or belly band. Oh my goodness, Paula. Early. Here's another page out of another little children's Christmas book that I've just tucked in here. The other side of this page. A little, this is some um, wallpaper that I got at a garage sale and it's um, embossed and it's so pretty. So I thought I would use it as a pocket and put some tags in there. I have three pink Christmas journals coming up that are made with that wallpaper. And here is a tag I made and I just put these two cute piece of ephemera on there and then tuck these two little penny stamp <laughs> I think it's so cute tuck those in there and this is a pocket as well right I don't, know, I don't have any pieces of Christmas here I'll just tuck that in you can put stuff in there as well and there's the back and that is that one Let me, I'll fix that later here is this one, the same on everything. This is Graphic 45, and I put that sentiment on there. That is the back. And I'll flip through this one a little faster. Again, a little tuck spot. And we have these two. I love that. I love these big old tags, too. And these two. These are some ATC cards that I've had floating around for eons. And they all have the same paper in there. They're just sometimes they're just little different tuck spots and little pieces, different pieces of ephemera. Same stamps. This one has a recipe page as well for cheese apple crisp, which I thought looked delicious. And some of them might have just different little pages. This is out of a floral magazine that I have, or book. And here is the doily tuck on this one. And this is an extra, isn't that cute? <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. And then we have those two tucked in here. Everything's kind of the same, just slightly different. Because I just had a bunch of different ephemera laying here. So I just made a bunch of different things. And this is the little booklet. Oh, sorry, made out of leftover cut off pieces of cardstock. This is the Christmas page for this one. Edith Holden. I don't know what kind of paper that is. My friend gave it to me. She got it at a garage sale. And I love it. Two sewn tags there. And there's nothing in here, but it also opens a little pop dot. And have the doily tuck there. Over here is her, this one's bag. And some extra corner tucks. <laughs> oh my goodness, and this one has a big red Christmas tag on there. Behind it. And these three little tags. Super cute, super cute in there. Uh-oh, I just ripped it. Ah! Oh my goodness. What in the world? Where's my... Gotta use the fabric tack for this one. Because my other glue doesn't like to work as well on these bags. So, we'll use the fabric tack. That seems to work on almost everything. <laughs> okay. And the other side of the book page. And this one has this little tag that has the little tucks. Little um, snowflake. 
And over here is this belly band. And we have this graphic 45 tag. And then this is the Christmas page out of for this one. I should have put the fabric down. My book always flops around when and here is that tag. When I just have it on my there we go. This one was has three different little tags hooked together. I love the old cookie jar. So cute. We have these two. A big old snowflake there. And back here we have these three Christmas tags. And that is that one. We set her aside. Go to this one. She has the gold ribbon. <coughs> Oopsie. My dog thinks I'm knocking from my nails hitting the, <laughs> the desk. Sorry about that. And this one, instead of a flower, has this little... Um, I didn't have another flower, so I just made up a flower. <laughs> a little out of some cotton doily. This one has these two tongs, which are beautiful. And then a snowflake. The same kind of pages, just different other pages. Same um, little tuck here. Minute Bandit. He wants out, I think. And then we put that there. This one has Holiday Relish and Russian Dill Pickles. Sweet Dill Pickles. And Potato something. <laughs> I don't know what that says. Oh my goodness. Here we have the Pocket. And aren't those cute? These are Tsunami Rose. I love those. So cute. And over here we have this belly band. This drawing card. And then we have this one. Winter Coats. Coats or goats? What would that say? Coats? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I wasn't seeing things. And here is her doily tuck. This gorgeous paper. And over here we have this tag. And then that one. And the holiday magazine. Here is her little booklet. Actually big booklets. <laughs> this one has two little tucks here. And then one up here. Um, nothing in the envelope. We have these two. Oh my goodness, you get so many pieces of pink ephemera with Tsunami Rose's little ephemera kit. It's just, I was fussy cutting for days. And I loved it. <laughs> I have a scan and cut, but some reason sometimes fussy cutting is relaxing to me so I just sit there and fussy cut things when my brain isn't working for anything else <laughs> I love this page Oops. here is her little bag back here is this big tag And here is this little side pocket. And back here is another little tuck spot. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. And we have these two and then the big tag. And that is my three little 
journals, or not little, but three journals I made out of leftovers that were on my desk and some cardstock out of my, oops, ah, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, cardstock left, you know, out of my stash. And these are all spoken for, but I want to share them with you. And thank you so much for watching my video, and please um, subscribe if you're not, and if you are already, thank you so very much. And I hope you all have a safe holiday, and I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.